How's it going guys and welcome back to Finding Charizard and yes we're back with another video but this time around we're going to be looking at some Japanese products. Some Japanese products that I think I'm going to do very very well sealed and holding for a long period of time. So make sure you check out this list I've got for you. There is some pretty tasty products and uh, yeah let's crack into it. So the first box we're going to be looking at is Star's Birth. Now I'm a big fan of Star Birth. Obviously the equivalent is Brilliant Stars and uh, what a fantastic set that has been. And obviously Stars Birth is a lot cheaper. You can pick up booster boxes for like around 70 pounds. And uh, if you're looking at Brilliant Stars, you, you know, at the minute you're looking around 160 upwards for Brilliant Stars. So having a look at the Japanese version, Stars Birth isn't too bad a show. I do think it's gonna perform very, very well in the future. Obviously we've got all these Charizard cards that I think will do very, very well. And obviously you've got that alternate art Charizard card. It's the one I am itching to get in my hands, and uh, what a beautiful card that is. A Japanese version as well. It's still a very, very valuable card. Around 150 upwards, you're looking to pay for an all art Charizard in the Japanese version. I actually opened up one of these boxes on my live stream. So if you haven't seen that live stream, do go check out. Kind of give you an idea what the booster boxes kind of look like and what you can kind of expect in a booster box. Hi. Okay. Obviously a set full of Charizards, it's not going to do too far wrong. But it's not only about the Charizard cards, you've also got the Arceus cards as well within this set. You don't have a trainer gallery set in this Stars Birth Japanese version like you do in Brilliant Stars. But even without the set, I think it's going to perform very well. Obviously most sets involved around Charizard tend to do quite well in general. Now one of the next booster boxes I'm going to be talking about is VMAX Climax. It's been around for a wee while now. You used to be able to pick these up for around 60, 50 pounds at one point, but now they have shot up to 75 pounds upwards. You're looking to pay for a VMAX Climax box. Obviously there are so many like art gallery, training gallery cards, whatever you want to call them in this set. And uh, there's a Charizard in that as well. And I think it's a very, very good set and it's gonna perform very well because there's a lot of collectability within these art trainer gallery cards as well. Some of the nice cards within the set is where we saw the black and gold cards of like the Pikachu and the Mew and I think the Rayquaza was in that one as well. Some really, really nice looking cards. But the main cards from the set, the most valuable cards are the Gloria Full Art Trainer card and also the Gala Friends as well. Some very, very nice cards indeed and really well worth hunting for and having in your collection. If you don't get those though, there are plenty of other nice looking cards to get in your collection with so many trainer galleries. Now we have to throw in EV Heroes. You can't avoid Evolving Skies and EV Heroes. EV Heroes being the Japanese version and I actually cracked one of these boxes open. I got the Leaf and All Art and I was very, very happy with that. And uh, these boxes now go for around 180 pounds, around that kind of figure. So these are expensive booster boxes, they aren't cheap. There's no guarantee you're gonna pull any of these VMAX alternate arts and stuff as well. So, you know, with this kind of product, paying this much for your first original layout of around 180 pounds, for me, it's definitely a plan to kind of have in your collection for a long period of time and watch it grow. Obviously, it's not that old of a set and it's already ticking away for 180 pounds. That is a lot of money for a booster box. Um, a Japanese box holds 30 cards, so you don't even get a 36 like we do in the English version. But still, I think it's going to be a very, very good investment in the long run. And obviously, most people will want these Moonbryon, Umbreon cards as well. You've got the Umbreon alternate art, but you've also got the Umbreon VMAX alternate art version as well, the Moonbryon card. And there are some fantastic cards in the set. And you've also got the Leafion, Glaceon, you know, all the rest. There are so many cards within the set that are well worth hunting for. And if you do put one of these cards, your quids in. So for that reason, EV Heroes has to make the list. Now we're gonna be talking about celebrations or the Japanese equivalent 25th anniversary set. Fantastic set. And the booster boxes now are creeping up in value. These are ticking away for around 85 pounds. I used to be able to see them on eBay for around 60, 65. Now they're kind of jumping another 20 quid fairly recently. And I think it's gonna perform very, very well. Like I've said before in my few of my videos, obviously there's a lot of nostalgia that comes with the celebration and the 25th anniversary. Obviously we've seen these old vintage artworks seen again in this 25th anniversary set as well. So I think it's gonna do very, very well. Well worth having a booster box in your collection. I think these hold 20 packs inside, I could be wrong. And uh, yeah, definitely a sought after product. 
and I think it's going to perform very, very well in the long run for sure. It's kind of one of those products you want to maybe pick up now before the prices really start to climb. And obviously within this set as well, we've got the Charizard cards and the Blastoise and Venusaur, very iconic artworks. And for that reason, I think they're going to do very, very well for celebrations and in the 25th anniversary of the Japanese version. But I actually think the Japanese version cards look so much nicer with the, the hollow effect through it as well. I think they look a lot, lot nicer than uh, the English version. That's just my personal opinion. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. What's your opinion? What do you think is better, the Japanese version or the English version? If, if you haven't already done so though, guys, do subscribe to the channel, leave a like and smash the notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and uh, your support really does mean so, so much. And do yourselves a favor, guys, as well. Check out the Finding Charizard Discord. I'm on there regularly. And if you ever need any Pokemon tips or advice, I'm there, so feel free to join. Now, the next that I wanted to look at is Tag Team All-Stars. If you've got a bit more cash to spend and you want to throw some dollar about, well, Tag Team All-Stars, I think, is a very, very good set to look at. And this was actually released in October 2019, so it's been a fair few years since it was released, but there are some very, very nice cards indeed. Some very sought after gold cards for sure. Now, if you want to pick up a booster box of this, the cheapest listing on eBay is for £206. So like I said, it's a very expensive box, kind of like your EV heroes, but this is generally a bit more pricey as there are some really, really nice gold cards to go for. I think there's like seven or eight in total, but obviously the most expensive one being the Charizard Reshiram gold card. Now this is actually the gold card that is from Tag Team All Stars, the set we're talking about, but this was released in the premium Charizard Reshiram collection box. Uh, I'll put a picture on the screen so you know the box I'm meaning. This is how we got it in the English, but where this card originally comes from, it wasn't a promo, it was to do with the set Tag Team All Stars. And this is why I think it's gonna do very, very well in the future, not only just that card, but I also think the set's gonna perform very well because it's not only that one, you also have the Pikachu Zekrom card, which was released in the same kind of form as this premium Charizard Rashiram collection box. This Pikachu Zekrom box, as you can see, is a really nice box, very similar to the Charizard Rashiram. This was released in a promo card, as well as Charizard Rashiram was a promo card as well. And I can see these cards doing very, very well in the long run. But not only that though, guys, you had like new and Mewtwo as well, which is a beast of card. One of the cards I really wanted to get, and there's a few nice other cards to definitely have a look at. But in general, I think the Tag Team All-Stars Boost Box is going to perform very well. And obviously, it started to climb um, up in value over the last couple of years. And now that we're seeing this over £200, even if you were picking up £200, I think it's a long-term investment. Like all these products that I'm kind of talking about, I do think the best plan is to have them for a long period of time. Now, the next product we have to talk about is the Japan Post Stamp Box. Now, I absolutely love this box. I wasn't able to get hold of one of these boxes. It's one of these I'm still itching to get. If you wanted to pick up this box off eBay, you're looking to pay around £304. So this list has got more expensive, but I'm gonna tone it down towards the end. But this is a fantastic box. It's very, very unique promo cards. And the way to attain this box was through the Pokemon Center lottery service. If you were one of those lucky people who said, yes, you have the chance to buy this, then that was you, you could go and buy that product. And yes, you would have got the box and the stamps. There's so many nice things about this box. And because it's to do with like the Japan Post as well, it's a really kind of unique kind of sort of release. It very much reminds me of like the Scream, the Egg and Mooch Scream cards as well. Obviously that was to do with the art gallery, but this it's that kind of same uniqueness, how this product was released. And we've got the beauty looking back and we've got the cram around there, which is a really, really nice looking card as well. High PSA grades, they do go for a hefty whack and uh, I definitely think they are worth picking up if you have that extra money to spend to really go for you know, like, like a unique kind of Japanese product. I think these were only climbing value over time and I think these were gonna perform very, very strongly. Now our next Japanese product we're gonna be looking at and the final one I have for you is V-Star Universe. Everyone is talking about V-Star Universe. It's hot, hot, hot on the people's lips and rightly so. It's a fantastic looking set. There are so many amazing looking cards to collect collectors of like art gallery, training gallery, whatever you want to call them, they are in this set for sure and it looks fantastic. And I definitely think it's gonna be worth having V-Star Universe Booster Box. Um, once these prices kind of reduce, I think they will reduce over the next few months. Once, once we get Crown Zenith in, and uh, I think over the next few months, we will see these prices of 
uh, V-Star Universe reduce. Like we have seen with all these kind of like holiday kind of sets, they have always come down to that round, that £60 mark. This might sit a little bit higher because it seems to be that that much more premium. I think there's like a, so I don't know, there seems to be like a really exclusive feel to V-Star Universe. There's two kind of variants of God packs you can get. You've got full gold cards, which look amazing. So many of the artworks are very, very collectible. And I don't think we've really seen this sort of collectability within a Japanese set before. Um, we had it with BMX Climax, but I think this is done so, so much better. And I think it's gonna be a very, very good set to have a lot of product in and uh, holding a lot of stock in these booster boxes. Because once these prices drop and give it a few years, that's when we can see these prices really start to tick over. And I think it really will with V-Star Universe. If you wanted to buy one now though, the cheapest listing on eBay is for around 85 pounds, kind of around that mark. And uh, I do think this will drop. I'd say 70. I wouldn't be surprised if it came down to like 60, 65, because we have seen that before. But um, at the same time, I do think it will tick down to that mark around a few months time. But sitting quite expensive at the minute because there's still a lot of hype about V-Star Universe. People want to get a hold of these cards. Um, but yeah, just give it time. Don't get caught up in FOMO. If you haven't seen my video, how not to invest in Pokemon, one of my tips is don't get caught up in FOMO. Be patient and let the market settle before you start splashing your money. Like I said, there are two different types of God Packs you can get that create a full amazing artwork, which is going to be very, very sought after. I think these will do very, very well. Be interested to see how many actually hit the market and how many there are to a case and stuff like that. But in general, I think there's a lot of collectability with that. A lot of people will be hunting for those kind of packs. And not only that, there's still a Charizard. You've got the Charizards to go for within this as well, as well as the new two card which is a really nice looking card as well some of the promo cards that we've seen from the charizard upc this is where they've released them in the v-star universe so definitely for me a fantastic set so much good things from the set to get excited about and we are excited about but definitely a good solid pickup in my opinion so like i said guys all of these kind of products that i've spoken about in the list i do think they're gonna be long-term plays um, regardless of how cheap you can get them, if you can get them cheaper in the long run, your margin is going to look better. That's another way you can look at it. Like I said, don't get caught up in FOMO. Wait until some of these prices reduce, especially with V-Star Universe. I don't think it's going to happen so much with the other product. I definitely think if you hold off for V-Star Universe, it's going to be a good time to start picking up these boxes. Once they hit the lower kind of values, like 65 around that mark, that's maybe a good time to start feeding into it and really taking advantage of the low value. That is everything I've got for you today though guys. Do subscribe to the channel, like today's video, turn on notifications and I will see you guys again. <laughs>